The feeling hits you that look, this is what Dubai is all about. This is what marvel of architecture and tall buildings are all about. It kind of shakes you up. It kind of makes you realize the strategic importance of Dubai and what Dubai does for the rest of the world. What it signifies is the ability of a country and a nation to think so much in ahead, so much ahead, and to be the pioneer of the world. So in a sense, I would say that what Dubai does today, the rest of the world looks up to it and does it tomorrow. They're the students of Manipal today, but the architects and interior designers of tomorrow. Manipal executive education has gone one step ahead in preparing the students for the real world. On the agenda is a five-day workshop called Tall Building Studio, where the students prepare elaborate plans for tall building structures and high-rise buildings. These projects were reviewed by the leading architectural consultants of the UAE who offered the students their valuable feedback. They get an opportunity to, in to interact with the international design consultants, obviously of international repute, who have been associated with the uh, iconic tall buildings in the UAE. So this program gives them an excellent opportunity to understand the nuances as well as the practical challenges which are involved in the concept design, development and the construction of tall buildings. Dubai is the place where architecture is happening in today's day and time and uh, world over in the last uh, two decades people have been looking at Dubai and what is happening as far as built environment, architectural developments etc. And I think one of the, the most important typologies that is being uh, reinvented as far as uh, uh, Dubai is concerned is um, tall buildings, skyscrapers, you name it. So for the architecture and the interior design students, it, it becomes all the more relevant that they are part of a tall building studio where you've got uh, consultants from, uh, uh, from various uh, uh, forays, international consultants, uh, consultants who are working in the region who are coming and working with them and developing uh, this typology or taking them through the development of the high-rise typology. The workshop marked its beginning by welcoming Honourable Guest Abdullah Rafia, Assistant Director General of the Dubai Municipality. The theme of the workshop, Sustainability, was reinforced through the sessions so as to encourage them to apply it into all their projects. So there has been a recent shift in the way buildings are being constructed in Dubai. The municipality has issued sustainable codes. Will the designers of the building have to make any compromise on the cost or on the aesthetics of a building when you keep sustainability in mind? I think the sustainability is something uh, that is a must. Now, how, how, to how much or how, how much uh, you're going deep into it? is also something we have to think of. But always when we think of, of sustainability, we think of the components of sustainability. Uh, the social, the economic uh, part, and the environmental part. So we really cannot uh, go too much on one side and leave the other side. So what we're doing, we are promoting, let's say, green building uh, standards. Uh, but while we're promoting the green building standards, we know it will increase the price. But we kept a lid on the increase by 5%. However, it will reduce energy by 20%. It will reduce the, the um, consumption of water uh, by some 15%. It will reduce uh, the, the uh, uh, carbon footprint. Uh, so in that case, when you look into the whole effort and you calculate the cost benefit, you are always benefiting from uh, sustainable uh, building, sustainable material, and sustainable standards. Uh, sir, you spoke about the coexistence and the blending of concrete and the natural environment. So how do you think we can apply that in a city like Dubai? How can we integrate landscape into the urban environment? Yeah? I think there are many plant species that can thrive in a hot, arid, or humid desert environment. Uh, in fact, Dubai has become very green in the last 20 years. The Dubai I saw when I came here 20 years ago was a very different Dubai. It's denser, it's got more concrete and steel, but it also has a lot more green. And I would say to the urban planners who move forward in Dubai and to the master developers who develop Dubai is that we must keep pushing the green side and integrating green with white white being concrete. Yes. 
for instance. I think there's a lot that can be done and I believe it's going in the right way. Yeah. The concept of sustainable development is very feasible for developed countries. How do you think that this can be incorporated or induced in developing and underdeveloped countries? Mm -hmm. um, when we say sustainable, it is something to last. And even in the developing countries, when you design, you design actually to last. You're designing new cities, you're designing new buildings. If them then passed, the lifetime of the buildings was quite short. Now they're standing for 50 in 100 years. So th the concept itself is absolutely valid. The question comes when a, you try to uh, implement new technologies which are not available in that market. Those become additional cost to the project, which will be difficult to pass to the end user. This where when the government should step in. Uh, they should promote um, um, create initiatives that would support and reward those who actually um, design responsibly. Tall Building Studio was a very different experience for the students of uh, design and architecture because uh, for the very first time uh, it was a working studio where consultants from reputed uh, design firms uh, in Dubai had come and interacted with students. Now as the session goes on we'll be meeting people who actually work in the market and we'll get to um, modify our work to such a level that it can actually be built. So this session is going to help us interact more with the people who are right now working in the market at present. Okay, so what we have thought of doing was we, um, we're having an urbanization break in our building. So it's uh, in Dubai, you've seen a lot of uh, tall skyscrapers and stuff. We want to bring uh, green spaces into the building in high rise. We are bringing a green cut into our building, which will depict our uh, concept, which is like you have this monotonous uh, pattern of uh, glass and then suddenly there's a break of greenery in between. It was actually a very insightful session and we will use this insight into the projects that we are working on right now for specifically for this workshop as well. And this, the workshop has been very useful to all of us because uh, we have this very close contact with industry which we need in our field. It's not like a theoretical course where um, you just read from books that does not work. Uh, you need to be able to um, be closely connected and network with all the required people in the industry. And uh, this has given all of us that opportunity. And I'm sure, very sure for the students, it's been a real memorable experience in their academic journey. So this program is a, is a shining example of uh, how different stakeholders are impacted and benefited. The workshop definitely served its purpose as an intense learning experience for the students. With camera person Mark Matthew, this is Lippi reporting for Manipal Dubai TV.